Hi everyone, I'm Tanaz from foreverconscious.com and this is your weekly energy forecast for the week of January 16th. We have a lot of cosmic shifts happening this week, however, most of them are happening on a subtle level. So big shifts in the cosmic skies, but a lot of the energy, it's sort of working on a subtle, more internal level rather than an external one. However, having said that, we do have the full moon this week and that is an example of an energy that will very much will feel on not so much a subtle level. It'll be a strong energy that most of us are pretty sensitive to the full moon, so we'll be definitely feeling that. This full moon <clears throat> falls in the sign of Cancer. It uh, happens on the 17th and there is a little bit of heaviness surrounding this full moon. The reason for that is that the planet Pluto is very active at this full moon and Pluto can sometimes bring up things from the shadows, our shadow side, those deeper, darker emotions and feelings and situations that maybe we don't want to confront, but we always feel better when we do take the brave decision to confront them and move through them. So if you are feeling any heaviness under this full moon, know that that can be motivation or use that heaviness as motivation to see what you need to release. Full moons are always portals of release. And so if you are noticing any heaviness, think about how you can release that. Use that heaviness as a guide as to what you need to release to sort of create lightness, to move through something, to um, feel more at ease with where you are in your life. So think about using that heaviness as motivation. This full moon might also draw our attention to where we are feeling powerless in our lives. What areas do we need to step up and get, regain our power, regain control, take you know matters into our own hands and feel empowered as we do that. It may also bring our attention to where we need to release power or release control and go with the flow a little bit more. Where have we been holding on too tightly? Maybe we've been holding on too tightly to a solution or some expectations or wanting something to be the way and uh, some, some way and it just isn't. You know, how can we release and let go of that? Let go of that control. So either or might come up for you under this full moon but just know any heaviness use it as motivation to think about what you need to release where is that heaviness coming from because that will be your clue as to what you can shed and let go i have a ritual that i designed specifically for this cancer full moon i highly highly recommend it but if you don't have time for the whole ritual on step two i have given some they're not really journal prompts they're more like a sentence prompts um, you can use them as journal prompts but it really is just kind of filling in the blank these like little sentences where you can kind of fill in the blank i highly recommend at least doing that um, they're just prompts sentence prompts that will help you to kind of think about what you need to release what you need to let go of check that out i'll drop the link below it's from your cancer full moon ritual and it's in step two if you don't want to do the whole ritual you can find it at foreverconscious.com too if you're having trouble accessing the link so that's the full moon then the next day uranus goes direct uranus has been retrograde since last year Uranus will now shift in a direct motion. This is a subtle energy. Uranus goes retrograde every year. It goes direct every year too. So this is kind of just a subtle energy, not too much of a loud one. However, we also have the lunar nodes changing signs. And this also happens this week around the 19th. So the lunar nodes indicate our, our collective destiny, where we are destined to head. And it, they can have a personal influence too. If we look at our natal chart, it can um, reveal to us some of the things that we're destined to do in this life. And if you're like, wow, I want to figure out where my lunar nodes are in my chart and figure out what you know astrology says about my destiny, check out my book, The Ultimate Guide to Astrology. I run through all how you can find that out, figure that out. I'll drop a link below if you're interested in that book. Um, it will guide you to understand more than just your lunar nodes, but what signs and um, your lunar nodes are in and what that might indicate for you. But on a collective level, 
speaking for everybody, the lunar nodes will shift into Taurus and Scorpio. So this will set up a new kind of collective lesson, karmic lesson, karmic destiny, where we're heading as a society together. I wrote an article all about this. I will also drop the link for that below if you want to read more. But essentially, we are moving to create more stability. We're moving to create a more solid foundation. How can we do that in our lives and in the world around us? We actually might see that unfolding um, as we move through this energy with the lunar nodes shifting into the sign and as we kind of get you know working with this energy we may start to notice themes of you know people uh, the pandemic it's changed so much for so many people but now this lunar nodal shift might help us to start going okay how can we make the most of where we're at how can we take these changes and this new way of living and create some stability. That might be something that all of us in our collective consciousness are working towards, especially this year. The lunar nodes also indicate the signs that the eclipses are going to fall in. So we don't have any eclipses this month, but the um, eclipses will now begin to fall in the signs of Taurus and Scorpio. So they will become themes at every eclipse. And as you know, if you've been following me for a while, eclipses are quantum leaps. Um, quantum jumps that help us to shift to a higher level of consciousness. So having the lunar nodes and having the eclipses in Taurus and Scorpio opens up a new set of lessons for us. Now, the other thing that we might see manifesting with this lunar node shift is a greater focus on the state of planet Earth. What we're doing, um, where we need to create sustainability and if sustainability is not achieved, we may begin to start to see the ramifications of that. So planet Earth will be in a very sensitive spot under this energy too. So it'll be really important for all of us to sort of do our part, care for the planet and all of that. Um, another thing that we might see manifesting with this lunar node shift into Taurus and Scorpio is a change in what we value as a society. The things that we value, we might see, uh, you know, things like digital currency or NFTs, you know, question, things that get us to question what do we value as a society? What, where do you want to put your value? Um, and maybe there might be some changes around that as well. So this energy will be here for the next 18 months. So it's sort of subtle. It's happening on the undercurrents. It'll peak every time we have an eclipse. So it's not going to be a big loud energy. It's just a subtle shift, a subtle change that is uh, setting us up to, as a society, as a collective to move through a new lesson that gets us closer and higher to our full potential to our destiny, to our collective destinies. So that is the energy for the week. Lots of big shifts, but again, they're happening on a subtle level. This full moon, a little bit of heaviness, but know that you can use it as you know, inspiration for release. I hope that was helpful. I hope you all take care of yourself. Have a wonderful week. I'm Tanaz from foreverconscious.com. Thank you so much.